today's topic is uh, unit 3 core practical one okay first experiment and uh, the experiment is use a semi quantitative method with benedict's reaction to estimate the concentration of reducing sugars and with iron sol iron solution to estimate the concentration of starch using color standards okay and we will be dividing this experiment into two parts part a and part b where in part a we will be identifying the glucose concentration like reducing sugar using semi quantitative technique okay so in this experiment what i will do is i will explain the experiment first wholly and then i'll be providing the notes for it uh, which will make your life a lot easier trust me and if you can please note it down to make uh, it more easier for you to revise during your exams okay it's better okay so in this experiment what we'll do is we will first at first we will prepare uh, a known concentration of uh, a known glucose concentration for example one percent of glucose solution it's a beaker and it's one percent of glucose solution along with that more samples are made by us for this experiment for example 1.5 percent of glucose solution 1 point sorry 2 percent of glucose solution 2.5 percent of glucose solution and 3 percent of glucose solution like we were taking more samples to make our uh, our results more reliable okay more precise it's it's important for an experiment four major things are important one is method two is uh, instruments then results and the precautions we need and for a better result we need to take more samples okay to make our uh, to make our experiment more valid and uh, for you if you imagine that you're doing this experiment it will make uh, you um, it will make really easy for you to remember the experiment okay. Uh, okay after that after that what we'll do is we will uh, use a waterproof marker to label all of them okay so that we don't mix up the concentrations um, and like the beaker of concentration with each other then we will be pouring all the concentration out of the beaker into a test tube into a test tube through the syringe of same volume okay same volume volume must be same concentration is different but volume must be same to make the result more reliable okay same volume volume for example it's one percent of uh, glucose solution <clears throat> so uh, we will do this for all the beakers okay test you for 1.5 percent one point uh, sorry two percent 2.5% 3% and along with that we will take an unknown unknown concentration for example a sample of fruit juice sample of fruit juice fruit juice we will take it in the same volume but not in the same concentration like we don't know the concentration we need to figure it out like uh, we'll denote it with x concentration okay like we do not know what is the concentration in it okay we will figure it out this is our sample this is our sample okay <clears throat> then uh, in the next step we will be 
what we'll do is from the container of benedict from the container of benedict solution solution we will be taking it in same volume okay same volume for example two centimeter cube okay benedict solution two cent uh, centimeter cube and uh, we will be pouring it in all the test tube in all the test tube with different concentration and along with the sample one okay this is one of our final uh, step of uh, finding the result and then uh, uh, what we'll do is uh, we will put all test tube in a hot water bath <coughs> okay placed into a hot water bath for at least two minutes and then it will be transferred into a test tube bath, okay and then the obtained color is uh, recorded okay uh, and and we uh, and then what will happen we will get the colors of each solutions right and also color for this sample solution then we will be like comparing like with with what concentration is uh, does it match if it color matches with the first one then it's of one percent one percent glucose solution if it's the uh, color matches with the second one then yeah then the concentration of this fruit gel fruit juice sample is of 1.5 percent okay i hope i made it clear to you and the notes will make it a lot easier for you to understand this experiment all right so let's get started with the notes right now <coughs> and the precautions list i'll be giving you uh, giving you at the end all right so uh, in this technique, the correct concentration of glucose cannot be quantified. In this technique, the correct concentration of glucose cannot be quantified. We can just assume the concentration of glucose. Therefore, it's known as semi-quantitative technique. Okay. Why it's known as semi-quantitative technique? Because we exactly don't know the concentration, but we can assume the concentration of it, that's why it's known as semi-quantitative technique in this technique in this technique known concentration of glucose solution is prepared for example 2% concentration of glucose solution at the same time other concentration like 0.5% 1% 1.5% 3% is prepared then uh then waterproof marker is used to level test tube with different glucose concentration an extra test tube is taken for the sample it can be a juice like unknown solution unknown solution as i said before unknown solution to find that uh, find what concentration it has okay then syringe is used to transfer glucose solution from the beaker to the respective test tube and at the same time specific solution of benedict solution like 2 cm cube is added as i said that we will be transferring all the glucose solution to our test tube and then we will be pouring the benedict solution into it of same volume all right like 2 cm cube is added it is then placed into a hot water bath for two minutes and then transferred into test tube trap for observation. The obtained color is noted and preserved. Okay, let me just uh, add something with it. Uh, the color of it <coughs> from blue to green to yellow. to orange brick red the level of glucose decreases the experiment we had uh, five solutions right one percent, 
the level of glucose decreases right so it decreases in this way the level of glucose increases in this way and decreases in this way okay so the color of three percent will be blue just imagine 2.5 percent green two percent yellow 1.5% orange this will be brick red and this, the sample solution like the fruit juice will also have some color right the unknown color when we put phonetic version to the fruit juice uh, this other uh, color change will also occur over here right so we're just going to match the, this color with the rest of this uh, whoever the color matches with it contains that concentration of local solution okay i hope i made it clear let's move on this experiment is repeated for each concentration of glucose for several times using this record we can understand the concentration of glucose in an unknown solution okay why it is repeated for a better result for a more reliable result which is the ultimate goal of the experiment right and uh, here are some precautions and precautions differ from experiment to experiment all right and these are the precaution for this particular experiment goggles and gloves should be used because Genetic reagent may cause allergic reaction if it fall on the skin. During the application of hot water bath, hot water may spill out which may be taken into consideration. This tube rag and tongue must be used to avoid direct contact. Time in the water must be checked strictly because long exposure might damage the genetic reagent. Volume and concentration of phonetic reagent must be same for all concentration. So as you know, I'll just give a question for you to practice at home. So uh, today, is, I'll also give a question today and I'll be giving you the answer in the next U, unit 3 class. Okay. So today's question is explain why phonetic test is not a suitable test for measuring the total sugar content of fruit juice okay thank you so much mm -hmm.